Okay, so now we're going to get into the showcase that you've all been waiting for. The 55% level 1 links LR Ribriand, Rosie, and Kakunsa video. Yes! <laughs> I don't think I've ever stalled this long on recording a 55% video after I've pulled a character. This is literally like three weeks later, or two weeks later, I guess. Yeah, two weeks later. Uh, no, actually, no, I think it is three weeks later. <laughs> I haven't haven't even thought about even doing this, but let's go. Let's get this out of the way here. Uh, so let's go over what they're going to do here. So leader skill, they're being a gold coin LR. Uh, the leader skill is not going to be the greatest. Special pose, power of wishes, key for 150%. Yeah, it's not really, not really too good. Um, super attack, 12 key. We have the lovely Carnival. Raise attack and defense for one turn. Colossal damage. The 18 key is the lovely Fantasia. Greatly raise attack and defense for one turn. And then mega colossal damage. Let's take a look at this novel of a passive. <laughs> you guys like this? Uh, mission to spread love activates the entrance animation once only. Changes STR, AGL, and physical key spheres to tech key spheres for one turn from the character's entry turn. And then three key for three turns from the character's entry turn when there are another two or more tournament participant category allies on the team upon the character's entry. Uh, baseline, she's getting three key, attack and defense 122%. Changes STR key spheres to tech key spheres. Medium chance of changing AGL to tech, and then another medium chance of changing physical to tech. Um, I actually kind of do like that that is a separate chance, because if you fail the medium chance on one, you can still get the medium chance on the other one. Um, actually, you know, would uh, prefer if it was like a high chance at least, but I'll take it. Launches an additional attack that is a high chance of becoming a super attack if HP is 66% or more when attacking. So obviously, because it says when attacking, if your HP is above 66% at the start of the turn, and then it falls below 66% subsequently in the middle of the turn, you're not going to get that additional. Uh, then she launches an additional attack that is a great chance, my favorite mechanic, of becoming a super attack when there is another universe survival saga category ally attacking in the same turn, or a universe survival saga category enemy. So that's pretty important to get, I would say. Uh, then... Uh, she's getting another 122% attack and defense and 22% damage reduction when attacking. Uh, and then she gets an additional two key with two or more type key spheres obtained. Um, and then she does get 22% chance to crit for every two key spheres obtained up to 66%. Uh, which basically means as long as you're getting six key spheres, which is going to be fairly easy, I imagine, with this character with how much orb changing is going on. Um, she's going to have a 66% chance to crit. So yet another instance of a character where you probably don't need to give her too much crit um okay and then she does have a giant form can be activated when hp is 66 percent or less with another power of wishes category ally attacking in the same turn or starting from the sixth turn just baseline so i imagine in most cases you're probably going to get this on the turn six uh but you guys at this point should know how powerful giant forms are uh, Orange Piccolo, I mean, it's just been rampaging throughout the game since his release. Uh, we have characters like Easy A, Super Baby 2 on the villain side who are, have pretty powerful giant form mechanics. So um, you guys know giant formers. Giant forms are not just good for the damage they do, but it also allows you to bypass a lot of enemy uh, mechanics like AoE, super attack, stuff like that. So very, very strong ability here. Uh, okay, and then we have the links. More than meets the eye, Metamorphosis, Battlefield Diva, Signature Pose, Tournament of Power, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. Uh, I'll make a similar comment that I made when talking about 17 and 18 when I did their rainbow video. This character is just simply going to get better when we head into the ninth anniversary because of all the ridiculous easy A's we've received for, well, not what, well, well, that we are going to receive, I guess, on Global. Uh, for the ninth anniversary, Esther UI Goku, Blue Cow Can Goku Evolution Blue Vegeta, sixth anniversary UI Goku, sixth anniversary Evolution Blue Vegeta, and even just the easy A's for the STR type support characters, Kaba and Hit, are also going to be pretty helpful, I think, for this character as well. Um, so we have a lot to look forward to to help this character out moving forward. Uh, she does have, what is this, 10 categories, Special Pose, Power of Wishes, Peppy Gals, Universe Survival Saga, Transformation Boost, Joint Forces, Space Traveling Warriors, Tournament Participants, Giant Form, and Super Bosses. Um, when we do go into the Giant Form, um, not really too much to say about the actual Super Attacks here. She does greatly raise attack temporarily on the 18 key, which is whatever. 
Um, and then her passive, she gets an additional two key per key sphere obtained, changes STR key spheres to tech key spheres, and then she also changes another type of random key sphere. So either, um, so what is that? Either AGL, Int, or Physical to Rainbow. And then she has a 50% chance to crit. So pretty good giant form from Ribrian here. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at her on Android 21's team because she actually does fall under the 200% the leader skill for uh, 21. She, she fulfills the conditions to, to get onto that leader skill. Um, we're gonna jump into the Metal Cooler core here. This uh, LR Ribrian is not really a character that needs to like build up in any way. So we don't need to jump into like the Frieza stage or the, the Cell stage. Let's jump into like a relatively tough stage. This is not super mega tough, obviously anymore. Um, and especially not tough at all when you compare this to the ninth anniversary events. But uh, on global, we... Uh, have a significantly less powerful roster to work with. But this team should be fairly good in here. We have the EZA for uh, the Khalifa as well as uh, the Kale, who are gonna benefit a lot from that as well. Um, so yeah, let's just jump in. Metal Cooler Core, we should be okay, I think, in here. Let's, let's see. Uh, again, not a rainbow character, 55% level one links, but uh, we should still be looking decent. All right. Um, so she does have an entrance animation. So let's unskip all this. Uh, rotations are okay. Nothing insane. They could be worse, I guess. Okay. Um, I would like to put Sheila in front of like the least amount of attacks. I, I think. It's super in the middle and in the front. Uh, I think it's fine to do this. Kale, I'm gonna wanna, actually do I wanna float Kale? Not particularly. I'm gonna keep Kale here. Um, Kale is gonna be fine defensively once she supers first. And then the same thing with 21. So I think we're actually okay doing it like this. Let's just leave things as they are. And then next turn we'll have Ribrian next to uh, Tech Khalifa. I think I'll leave things like that. Uh, Tech Khalifa on this team, I believe, I believe she has like a 64% chance. I think, I think that's, what, that's what I calculated when I built the team. About a 64% chance to dodge based off of the composition of the team. Uh, so something interesting about that Tech Khalifa, by the way, is she gets 8% chance to dodge for allies belonging to the Peppy Gals and um, Universe 6 categories. And that does stack. Oh my gosh, it's a, a lot more damage than I thought she'd take from that, actually. Um, so, so she gets 8%, which is stackable. So if you have a character like Kale on the team, she's actually getting 16% dodge for her. Um, so I think in total, she does have a 64% chance to dodge. And then on top of that, I did end up giving her, I think like almost max dodge in the hidden potential system. I think I actually, no, I think I went more additional because she just stacked defense. So I think I, I think I went like 20 additional and 20 dodge for her um, is what I did. Um, Kale here should be fine. Remember she's building up damage reduction whenever she attacks. Uh, next turn, we sh theoretically, we hopefully should be able to heal up a little bit just because of all the orb changing we're gonna do but we'll see that was a lot more damage than i thought 21 would take from that and i actually i'm actually really surprised that kale took that much damage from that what the hell this metal cooler is, doesn't really hit that hard okay and shilai doesn't dodge what what is going on I actually think that's like a really good animation. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I, dude, I want to do this so bad to heal up. I mean, Khalifa technically has more defense. Why don't we just give her the orbs? 200k defense. Let's just do this. It's not nearly as much as I would have hoped for. All right, we'll do this. I mean, this could be death. Double tech rotation here. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, so far so good. Dodge, dodge please. 
What is this, dude? Come on. I hate this game. Bro, I go to jump back in, and what the hell is this? This guy is a this guy has every dupe 421 and then just doesn't rain like what the hell is this i guess we're going with a 79 percent 21. I, I, <sighs> okay at least level 10 links uh that was actually trash chili didn't dodge khalifa didn't dodge this khalifa dodged every attack except for the super 21 took three over 300k from a super that's th what is happening dude what this is a terrible video already uh okay let's let's just uh go ahead and skip those what that what is this uh okay that's a lot of orbs i mean we have to put khalifa in the front right yeah, nice 21 orbs. I think we die. I think we're dead. Maybe we, maybe we shouldn't run. Um, <laughs> maybe we shouldn't run the metal cooler core. Maybe this is too hard for this team, actually. We, we've also gotten pretty unlucky where we haven't even seen Bulma once. Because Bulma was in slot seven in the first round, and now she's on the second rotation. Okay, he decided not to super, so I guess he's going to be supering 21 at the end. We know 21 is going to take, what, over 300k? Okay, so 6 million from Ribrian. Okay, thanks. You have a 70% chance now. Okay, thanks. Failed the 50% and the 70%. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now, we're, are we dead? We're probably just dead, right? Oh, we live. You couldn't have given me a super. You have a 50% chance and then a... This is this is actually like... Should I just end the video? I'm really tempted just to end the video here. I believe 21... Is, isn't she, is she healing right now? Or is that only post-transformation? Yeah, I think it's only post-transformation. Oh, now she decides to triple super. Thanks. That's great. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered last time anyway. Oh, you decide to quad super. Okay, yeah. Now she's she would be good against the super. What is dude, this is a this is this is a curse video. This is just, just this is just one of those cursed videos where like every possible thing that could go wrong goes wrong. It's just unfortunately what we're dealing with today, I guess. Alright, finally, we have actually a good character on rotation with Bulma. Uh, we obviously have to put her in slot one. Let's just leave things like this. I believe they share three links. Yeah, Brainiac's Battlefield Diva. Brainiac is a pretty important link here for her. Uh, let's do this. And then Shilai. I mean, <laughs> Shilai got the dodge. dodge. Gotta, gotta dodge that super at the end, Shilai. Bulma should be fine. Yeah, that's not bad. Alright, we are going to get the double super, which means we are going to be debuffing the core as well. Uh, my Bulma does have a decent amount of additional, so we could potentially double debuff if we get an additional here. Which we don't. Thanks, Bulma. Okay. I think as long as Chilai dodges, we should be fine. I think. I hope. Twenty-one should be fine. Even if she doesn't give us another super, she's fine. Oh my god! Okay, this is a terrible turn for her. Okay, Chilai, let's go. Double super, I think, is it's fine. It doesn't really matter, honestly. Thanks. No, nothing matters except for the super, though. Please, please, please. Thank you. Okay. All right, she's going to heal because she dodged three times. There we go. Um, <laughs> okay. I want to put... Uh, we have to put Khalifa on the front, right? Uh, so because we have Kale on the rotation, Khalifa is going to give us double super here, which like, doesn't really matter, though. <sighs> we have to just... We have to assume she's going to dodge here is what the play is, right? Okay. I mean, that's, that's what we have to do. Let's just do this. 
And then we'll do this. Let's just do this. Might as well just sweep the tech orbs off the field and we'll full heal with this. Almost. Oh, we are fully healed there. All right, just dodge everything. That's all you got to do. Okay, so far so good. She's going to give us at least two supers. She doesn't give us the third. Okay. Watch her dodge everything except for the super again. Okay, well... Uh, we're fine, we're fine. 7 million from Ribrian. Ribrian, can you please give me at least one additional super? You have a 50% and then a 70%. Okay. One more. Nice. Okay. I'm actually kind of curious. I kind of hope he supers here just so that we can see what she would take. I, I, I think she would... Would she take double digits for that? I think maybe it's possible. Damn, he didn't. Okay. Kale should be fine, I think. That was a good turn from Ribrian. I'm pretty confident that Ribrian would have taken at least under 100k from a super there. And then clearly, if she was Rainbow Max Link, she would take nothing. So That that was a good turn. Like that That's the kind of turn I, uh, I would want from Ribrian. All right, Kale. I was hoping that Kale maybe would have given us one more so that she'd get 60%. Damage reduction. Uh, that's fine. Not too bad. Uh, we'll be able to transform with Kale next time she comes around on rotation. All right, the core. Ceiling twenty one, huh? Um, I don't think we're gonna do that. Actually, thanks. <sighs> Christ, dude. All right, let's do this. Uh, if he doesn't super in slot one, we lose. We lose. All right, just go ahead and super Bulma real quick, and uh, we are looking good. That's all you got to do. Go ahead and just super Bulma. Go ahead. All right, we lost. We got to get like four supers. <laughs> okay. Maybe we maybe we killed the super. Maybe we, we action broke the super here. What do you guys think? Did we action break the super? This 21 should also action break too, right? I think she has to attack three times to action break. She only attacked twice last turn. Come on, give us one more. I, just, I think it's guaranteed, right? Yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> watch him still super and kill us here. 21's defense should be reasonably high. Oh, she gave us a quad. Okay, shh. No links up, though. Let's see. There's the action break. Okay, no super. I, I'm going to assume that we action broke it. Let's just see if he's supering on this turn at all. Uh, he is at the end. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see something here. Little Diva, 238. Ah, don't want to do this. Do we? I mean, this is the this is the Ribrian, the, the Ribrian, Rosie, and Kakunsa showcase. I feel like we're obligated to do this, right? Just so we can at least see how well they take this. Having Chilai on the team for showcase is actually is a pretty good thing because it allows us to put them in the way of the super intentionally. I'm gonna do this just so that we can see what happens. I'm going to say, so they have uh, 238,000 beefs. I'm going to say, if they, if Ribrian gives us two supers, I think we would live. I think. We'll see. Let's, uh, no, I don't want to get that. Let's do that. Then that. And then this is for the showcase. Let's see how this goes. 
Khalifa. If you took a normal, would you take damage? I don't think so. Prior to the, the, I'm just kidding. She will. Okay. Well, now we're probably gonna die even if we do super twice. Okay. You want to actually dodge? Thanks. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, 432. That we we gotta get. I think we have to triple super here. I think we need to triple. Even if we triple super, we probably would take like 300 cat at least. Okay. I'll just need one more Ribrian. One more. One more after this, please. Please give us that third super. Oh, no, I think I think we're dead. I think uh, I think we're toast. History. Goodbye, goodbye, cruel world. Yeah. Okay, so since the metal cooler core proved to be too hard for this team, we're jumping into the Frieza stage just so we can get a nice and easy run through here. Um, and I want to mainly just see the giant form for Ribrian because I want to get that in the video as part of her, you know, one of her mechanics. We're going up against the third form Frieza type disadvantage, and uh, we are going to be super getting supered in slot one. So I want to just get this turn in here. Uh, this Frieza doesn't hit particularly hard, but it is type disadvantage. We do have 230. It's the same exact amount of defense we had on the prior turn where we died to the core. Uh, three links, Metamorphosis, Fierce Battle, Battlefield Diva. Let's just go ahead and get to 24 key. Oh, that one good thing about this character for sure is that they really don't lack key at all. Like you, you saw we were starting at like basically 21 key or whatever that was, so pretty good. All right, let's go. Let's see how this goes. I don't anticipate they'll take damage. Um, if we can only get one super, I could maybe see us taking a little bit of damage. 8.2 is pretty good. 55% level one links, not too bad. All right, Ribrian, let's go. Uh, please. Okay. Okay, we should be fine. We should be. We, we should. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we took nothing from this. This is not like a super mega hard hitting boss. Okay, he didn't. Shouldn't even. Oh yeah, because we don't have a tournament participants ally in this rotation. Yeah. So that was actually the fifty percent chance to super because we didn't even get the great chance to super because we don't have like Khalif or Kale on here. Okay. All right, well, we will continue running through this event, and I will be back when we can use the giant transformation. Okay, so we can use the giant form. Um, I... Uh, do I want to use it here or save this? I mean, because we should save this for the last phase. Uh, first, let's go ahead and transform with 21. Um, just want to get this in, because this is a pretty uncommon thing, I think, to see. Oh no, I skipped it. Well, uh, it's gonna remain uncommon, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> uh, I think I'm actually gonna forgo the giant transformation. And, um. You know, let's just use it. Let's just use it. Let's just get the animation in. Okay, so you guys know the drill. We... I wonder if we could just kill him with the giant form. Look at the six orbs, we're at max key. Yeah, it's pretty good. Let's see how much we do here. Obviously type advantage, but uh, remember, Ribrian does also have a 50% chance to crit in the giant form. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Uh, only three million. Yeah, I don't think we're going to kill him. Only three million. Uh, when I when I rainbow her, um, I think I'm obviously gonna go probably more towards. I'm, I'm probably honestly, almost every single character at this point, you're gonna want to go some mixture of additional and dodge, just because it almost feels like every single character that releases has built-in crits somewhere in their kit. Or if it's not built-in crits, it's effective against all types, which serves as like a mini. Ver Damn, my recording got interrupted because I ran out of hard drive space. That's the first time it's ever happened to me. Um, okay, so what I was saying was, uh, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just continue pummeling Frieza with a giant rib ran here. Uh, all, it feels like almost every single character comes with either built-in crits or some some type of effective against all types, which it basically is just a mini version of crits, basically. So, uh, I am a person that likes damage. I'm a person that likes seeing big numbers. That's just my way of enjoying the game. Um, 
and even I don't typically give a lot of crit to most units because a lot of the times they don't need it. When you already have like a 50% plus chance to crit on a character, it almost doesn't feel necessary to give them additional crit in the potential system unless they don't need anything else, right? So I found myself mostly going with additional and dodge or some kind of mixture of those for like 90% of releases these days. Okay, so we're back here. Let's go ahead and just do this. Nice 12 orbs. Actually, should we even... We should just we should save as much as possible, I think, so we can give them to Bulma. Let's do this. And then we can give this to Bulma. Yeah, 10 orbs for her. Nice. Okay. Let's see. We know that he cannot super on this turn because we giant formed. Um, this should do some decent damage, hopefully. Yep, crit. And then we get the additional. Nice. This, again, also has a 66% chance to crit. We cannot get the great chance. This is also the 50% chance that we got, yeah. We have no tournament participants allying the team or whatever it is. Tournament participants, Universe Survival Saga, one of those two. I don't remember which one it was. Okay, uh, we can get some 21 action as well. I'm actually kind of hopeful we don't kill. We probably are going to kill in this turn, huh? And then we're going to move on to the final phase. Okay. Um, I mean, there we go. That's pretty much the showcase, right? Uh, you can let me know down below what you guys think of 55% level 1 Link's Ribri, LR Ribri, and Cocoon Sand Rosie. Okay, hopefully, I'm actually kind of, hope, hope we don't kill here, if possible. Don't crit, don't do anything. Oh, wow, perfect. That's actually really good. Okay. Uh, we can use that. I'm gonna... Should we just use it? Sure, whatever. Let's get it in the video. We'll use it next turn. Against Frieza here. What are her links? Three? Okay. Um, I mean, this is the play, right? Khalifla. Khalifla with your... Actually, we should we should do this in case he's supering at the end. Uh, let's just do this. In case he's supering at the end. All Khalifa has to do is dodge, man. That's it. Simple. Simply dodge every attack. It's not tough. Okay. I guess it's possible we could have action broken the super. Okay. She actually did dodge everything. Nice. I believe 21 is effective against all types here, right? Because the active skilled. Yep. Yeah. Alright, nice 70% chances to super. Thank you. Alright, I'm kind of hopeful he supers at the end. Again, this is probably a situation where we need three. Do we? I think if we do two, we probably will live. I think if we do two supers here, we live. I think. Okay, I think we're. Sh I think we should be. F I think we should be fine. I. I. I we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Give us one more. One more. Oh, okay. We triple. So I think we should be fine no matter what. I mean, this is gonna do damage if he does super here, but it's not gonna. It's not gonna one shot us. Super. Super. Uh. Okay. I mean. It's not a guarantee that we action broke the super, but I think it's a fairly high chance. Um, I mean, this is done, right? We just, we just, uh, skip is on. Okay, let's just do this. Uh, I don't, is Chaos still guarding? 
How long does she guard for? Another universe takes away on attacking the same thing. Yeah, she's not guarding. Okay, well. <laughs> sure, man. Um, I mean, we win anyway. Bulma's probably just gonna kill, regardless. All right, so let me know what you guys think of 55% LR, Ribrian, Kakunsa, and Rosie. Hope you guys enjoyed. There's the super. And I'll see you all in the next one.